Divine. This message will be for Divine Feminines. Divine Feminines, this is, will be your general reading. Collective like reading, okay, for Divine Feminines. All right. Let's see what Spirit wants you to know. And get right into your message. All right, let's go. Divine Feminine. Holy Spirit, Ancestors, Spirit, God, Universe. Whoa. Okay. Show me what I need to see for Divine Feminine. What is the message that you need me to share with Divine Feminine, Spirit, God, Ancestors, Universe? Show me what I need to see for all Divine Feminine collective reading. What else, Spirit, God, for Divine Feminine? What's the message, message that you need me to share with my Divine Feminine collective reading? Holy Spirit, show me what I need to know. Please and thank you. All right. Right now we got woman holding the heart. Healer of ages and patience. Okay. So right now I feel here the energy of you really loving on yourself, Divine Feminine. You're really working on yourself, um, moving out things that are not going to be uh, set up for you as a, as a building up of, or you just really not worrying about everything else and focusing on yourself. This is what I feel here. So everything that's not building you up, making you uh, into the person that you know that you can be and want to be in your life. You're moving it and you're focusing on yourself and you're healing. Also, I feel like you can be very spiritual right now. Yeah. I feel like you're very spiritual. You're feeling like um, your connection with the Most High is all that you need right now. And the universe is helping you with this patience here to get more understanding and just insight of to know the path that you want to go on, the knowing and understanding the path that you want to go on is right for you. So you trust in source to guide you to the path that you want to walk and know that you should be on. You're realizing that you have a higher calling, I feel. Oh yeah, 44 turning to eight. You're using your intuition, understanding, that you know you have a purpose in life, right? And you trust in the high, the most high to guide you to the path that you want and need to be on, that you should be on. A path that's full of light and truth. Mm -hmm. Seven, you trust in the divine. 16 turn into a seven. 51 turn into a six. Yeah, you're moving forward and into the light of the truth that's within you, and you're standing in your power and your truth. Yeah, that's what I feel here. I feel like you trust in, in the divine, the most high, whoever you deem, um, believe in. Okay, but yeah, this is what I feel that you're truly stepping into your power. Yeah, and you're focusing on. You're really focusing on what means, what it is that you know that you should be putting your focus into, which is in purpose and truth and light, your life path, all right? Let's see what else, Spirit, what you know, Divine Feminine? Yeah, you're the woman holding the coin. <laughs> you're focusing on your success, your business. You're not you're not letting nothing deter you or here. You're the woman holding the coin. You're the one that is focusing on again building your empire. I feel like you're focusing on the bag, yep. So woman holding the heart and woman holding the coin. 
This is your main focus right now. Your foundations. Your love emotionally um, being fulfilled within yourself. And following the God, guidance of, of the divine into your true happiness. Mm -hmm. What else for Divine Feminine Spirit Guys? What's going on, Divine Feminine? What is it that you need to share with my Divine Feminines? Thank you all for all your love and your support for coming back to my channel. Yeah. Someone or something that you were in with who did have you all tied up at one, at one point. You were once all tied up. But now I hear you're breaking free. Six and six. You're moving away from this all tied up energy. And you're breaking free into your purpose. Yep. What else, spirit guys? What else does the divine feminine needs to know? What is the energy surrounding them? What's coming towards them? Okay. There's two parts came out. Another five. You are an attachment of something that you're releasing. Yeah. And you're blossoming into abundance with, with the number three card here. And there's a blossom and abundance coming in for you. But what I feel here most is that anything that had bad attachments um, that you were connected to and now releasing, all this abundance is coming in because you released this attachment to toxicity, to, to, to bad ways and bad energies and bad habits. Yeah, things that had you all tied up and, and um, confused, feel like you couldn't get out of something, but you know you could. You released it. And now because you did this, it focused on your success and your abundance within you. The truth of the matter is, blossoming abundance is for you because this was yours all along. But you had to remove obstacles, things that were keeping you blind, holding you back, so that you can move forward into your true purpose. Mm -hmm. So you can be running a business in right now, maybe an online business. You maybe just started an online business now. But yeah, but that was things you had to release in order to get to here. Right? Yeah. Because the, you knew that the, your victory and success was on the line. You released some things that you know that weren't for you. Now you can have this victory, Divine Feminine. Right? Okay, let's move forward. and rejuvenate that's what you were doing you meditated you took out time for yourself focused on on the things that were most that, that you needed to take out for you took out time for you that's good continue to take out time for you divine feminine continue to focus on you and, you, and the achievements that you want to achieve yeah continue to stay ambitious moving forward right yeah rejoicing and celebration is here another three so that is your your um your reward here. Rejoice and celebration is here for you because you done you you done the right thing here. You release yourself from the bad attachments, evil attachments, uh, and all tied up energy that kept you stuck mentally, and released it. Now you're going in the right path because of your patience. Yeah. And the divine is guiding you through this. The divine is helping you through this, guiding you through this, so that you can stay on the right path. Continue to look to the, to the divine for your help. Yes. Thank you, Spirit. Universe. And 21 turning 2 or 3. Again, the light is with you. The force is with you. God, the Most High, is with you. The universe is here with you. Divine Feminines Collective. All right. What's going on? What's going on with your relationship, Divine Feminine? What is happening in your relationships? Divine Feminine. What's going on in your relationship spirit? For Divine Feminine. What's the relationship like? Okay, got right here. The relationship is with yourself right now. The self-love, creation, and intentions. 
this relationship you're having with yourself right now, Divine Feminine Spirit says. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> you're focusing on yourself. Your relationship with yourself is most important. You, good Lord, self care and energy. Again, focusing on yourself. Is bringing you all this love and this abundance that you have within yourself. The universe is blessing you right now, Divine Feminine. Transformation is here for you. You have transformed right here. What else here, guys, for Divine Feminine? What's going on, Divine Feminine Energy? Assistance is very God. Wow, you're receiving assistance from your spirit, guys, right now, Divine Feminine. That's what's going on. What else, Spirit? Wow, communication coming in. Mercury messages and travel is uh, is ahead of you right now. Wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I feel this good energy. Whoa. Wow. Again, celebration, gifts and abundance is coming in for you, divine feminists. What? What? <laughs> Woo. Wow. This energy is very strong. What a spirit. Yes, fulfillment. Which fulfillment is coming in for you, Divine Feminine? Whoa. This is good energy, I feel. What else for the Divine Feminine Spirit Gods? Ancestors, you're going to go to this week, please, and thank you. Shadow side of moon, the dark night. You went through a dark night of the soul, right? You faced the shadow side. You faced your fears, and that's why all this is happening now. You overcame something. Divine Feminine, you overcame your shadow side, you overcame the dark night, you overcame these fears. And that's why all this is coming in for you right now. That's why you're receiving assistance from your spirit, God, because you trusted in, in the Most High to bring you out of darkness. <sighs> you received messages from Source. You communicated with your spirit, guys, and they helped you to focus on the truth. Everything is supposed to be of the truth and the light. And that's what you focused on. And this is bringing in your love and the celebration, the self-care, the self-love and creation within you. Hmm. Wow. This is awesome. This is good. What else for Divine Feminine Spirit, guys? What do they need to know? What do my Divine Feminine need to know, Spirit? Thank you. Woo! Higher self and renewal. You went within. You <laughs> your higher self is activated, Divine Feminine. <laughs> this renewal spark is within you coming alive again wow wow this is awesome i feel good energy coming from you guys thank you source thank you holy spirit anything else from the, for the divine feminine for the divine feminine you to know right now wow okay farming structure and solid foundations is here for you divine feminine you form a structure and solid so, solid foundation that is what you're working on this is what is coming in for you this is what is going on in your relationship within you and those around you they understand that you're forming structure and solid foundations mm. yeah you stay in the present moment you're staying in this abundance energy here you have so much gratitude and you always show gratitude you never change things may come in your life things may happen around you you don't let it get you off track you stay focused and you keep moving forward and this is why all of this is coming in for you this great abundance this love this self-care you have for yourself this self wish, wish fulfillment the truth of the matter is that you're doing what is right it's truly for you on the inside because it's going to show up on the outside what a beautiful light you have. And, was, and the most high God that you serve is blessing your life. Because you want what's right. All right? As simple as that. You want what's right. And what's right is coming to you. Divine feminine. Continue to stand in your power. Continue to use this this love and self-creation um, within yourself to bring out the best always in yourself. And others will know. Then they can also receive the light that you share. Okay? The light that you have and you can share with them others around you because this is what you're doing the light the love the truth it's all within you and you're letting it be known good for you <laughs> wow i feel so much positive energy good for you good for us divine feminists all right all right <sighs> that's what i have for you guys my love that's what i am 
I feel here this positive energy and I pray that we also go in this positive energy day by day okay all right I'll see you guys later see you in the next reading thank you for coming Ashe.